toughest foot race on earth and a former West Country soldier who has battled back from testicular cancer is all set to take it on. As Jeff Welsh reports, Steve Alford is preparing for the Marathon des Sables, a 150 mile race over six days. If you think this training regime is tough, wait until Steve Elford experiences the real thing. Some people say you've got to be mad just to consider doing the Marathon de Sable. The race takes place in the Sahara Desert in Morocco in temperatures nudging 50 degrees. Add in the odd sand dune and desert storm and you get a feel of what lies ahead. Each person doing it have got their own reason for doing it. Personal ambitions, things to do for charity. Uh, my personal reason for it is to, it's going to be a life-changing experience for me. And I really want to raise as much money as I can from the million, considering what they've done for me in the past. The six-day race is over 155 miles, the equivalent of five and a half marathons. And it's not just the heat and terrain the competitors have to deal with. Each runner has to carry everything they need for the entire race, with the exception of a tent, on their back. So this really is the ultimate challenge. The thing I can't really train for is the heat. The mileage I can put in, uh, the speed, you know, the distance, everything like that can all be done here. But unless I have the time to go abroad somewhere hot, I've, really got to, I've got to just put everything in I can and deal with the heat when I get out there. Steve was told in 2006 that he'd successfully come through remission. He's shown over the last few years he's a battler. And you get the impression he's going to fight all the way in his latest challenge. Jeff Welsh, near Plymouth, for the West Country today. Well, that gruelling marathon starts at the end of March, and we'll let you know how Steve gets on. We wish him lots of luck, of course.